and this is App Lab. Dating websites have been popular for quite a while, but because of the smartphone revolution, we're now seeing a rise in dating apps. So today we're gonna to be looking at two of the most popular free dating apps, OkCupid okay and Plenty of Fish. Now I need a bit of help to test them here on O2Guru TV. So we've teamed up with YouTubers Phil and Dan here in Manchester. Hi guys, hey. all right? Yep. Yeah, cheers for having us around to your pad. No worries. Kind of you. uh, this is Phil, this is Dan. YouTube legends. Oh yeah. Uh, a week ago they kindly agreed to test out these dating apps. Phil, what one did you have? Okay, Cupid. And Dan? Plenty of fish. Right, let's see how they got on with them then. Here we go, I'm about to commence my Plenty of Fish adventure. Sign up now. Taking me to a website. Okay, so now I have to pick a username. The Dark Knight. Well, everyone <laughs> likes Batman. I think it's mysterious. Okay, what should I call myself? You need something sexy. Sexy. Bread tin. So now there's four steps. Upload a photo, tell us about yourself, answer 25 questions. Whoa. Oop, I need a photo. Oh god, I'm gonna have to have some kind of photo shoot. Drop another one from Lion Roar. Sexy tiger face. Okay, now I had a MySpace profile on, so I know all about how to do this. The science is, the higher you tilt the camera, the more fat you trim off. Okay, okay. So like this, like this. Do -do -do -do. Ethnicity, height, body type, diets. Gender, seeking height, looking for hair, body, car. Ah, oh, so this one has maximum age, minimum age. Yeah. Religion. Other. Okay, here we go. Jedi. What I'm doing with my life? Write an essay. <laughs> it literally says essay. Yeah. How many more boxes to go? About 10 million. Okay, so I've logged in. You can search for people based on various age location things. Oh wow, it's like ultra speed dating. It's worth getting the app just for this feature, seriously. Would you meet me? No. Would you meet me? No. Would you meet me? So the app is mostly navigated using these tiles. There's a quick match feature. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's the same as my one, but this time it's a five star system. If you do four or five stars, it tells them that you've given them a higher rating. I've already got a message. Really? Yep. Who is it from? Bethany. This girl likes Xbox and PS3. Hey, hey. She's about 20 minutes away. Where are you, Bethany? Have you had any messages yet? I have, I've had two. Ooh. Whoa. Well, it seems to take a while to load the conversations, which isn't good, because the love of my life might be slipping away. So, how many messages have you had, Phil? Six. How's it going, Casanova? <laughs> it's going quite well. I'm getting more messages than I got yesterday, which was, um, none. Well, you haven't got more than six, have you? Yes. What? <laughs> yeah. Get out. No. They're all from your friends and your mum. My mum is not on Plenty of Fish. In other news, I think I may have picked a girl to go on a date with me. So I just had a long chat with a girl called Stephanie. It looks like we're going on a date tomorrow. <laughs> This is probably why I don't get dates. Okay, so expectations. I'm scared. I'm excited about my date. I'm going to the cinema, so I'm gonna try and use the classic yawn. <sighs> Put my arm around her technique. To the Batmobile. <laughs> I'm scared. Let's do this. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty nervous, but hopefully it'll go all right. I will talk to you when I get back. Wah! So basically, that was one of the most awkward experiences of my life. I have never known anything about football. And she said something along the lines of, What do you mean you don't like football? <laughs> I don't think I'll be seeing her again. I hope Phil did better. So my date kind of went like this. Hey, how are you doing? Oh my god, she's, she's talking, talking so slowly. slowly. Just, just seem just interested. interested. So unfortunately there wasn't that much chemistry, so I don't think we're going to meet up again. But it was a great experience, and I would definitely use the OkCupid app again. Brilliant, boys. Okay. That was good work. <laughs> And you genuinely did go out on real dates. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. are single, mm -hmm. so that was all good stuff. Thanks for yeah, doing yeah. that. Right, let's start off with the apps and what you thought was good about them. Okay. Uh, okay, Cupid first, Phil. Um, well, the messaging system was really reliable. You got push notifications when you got a new message, so that was really good. I also kind of like the psychological matching. I don't think it's for everyone, but uh, it was quite fun, and yeah. you got people who had similar interests to you in your results. And Dan, plenty of fish. Well, it looked really good. The interface was very clean and responsive, and there's loads of people on it. Like, whatever section you went to by matches or nearest by people, there were loads of people everywhere. And also for a completely free app, there was a lot of things to do, like the little oh, yeah, the rating, the rating system, game and stuff like good. that. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite fun. So here's okay. the big thing though, a lot of people watching this are probably wondering, oh, should I give these dating apps a go? 
What do you think? What was your perception before? Has it changed the... Yeah, it definitely changed my perception of dating. Yeah, I just thought yeah. it would be like weird empty profiles and stuff, but there's loads of stuff you can do. So I reckon if you take advantage of all the different ways they're trying to match people up now, it's a good way to find people. There we go. Mm -hmm. See, look, these two did it. They're single. They got a date each. It's great stuff. So why not give those apps a go yourself? A big thanks to Phil and Dan for helping us with those dating apps. OK Cupid and Plenty of Fish are available on iPhone and Android. That is it from Manchester. But if you want to read some more reviews, get help or support, or even book an appointment with an O2 Guru, just click up there, it will take you to the O2 Guru TV YouTube channel. I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.